Okay, this is part two on how to convert your points and condenser ignition engine to electronic ignition. Now that you've put your flywheel back on, you get your electronic ignition coil and put that on. Um, the correct gap is as close as you can get without touching. So, Thread our bolts in, finger tight, so you can still move the coil. Just in there, like so. And the way you can check if it's like close enough without without it touching it is um turn the foot well it's because the magnet grabbed it and it's not tight. Once it's tight turn the flywheel and see if it like rubs if you hear like like a grinding sound or if the flywheel won't turn it off. use the open end wrench because I couldn't find my quarter inch socket. But that's no big deal. Put that on nice and tight. I'm sure you're oh yeah and it's grinding so I'll have to loosen the bolts. Loosen up the bolts. Move the coil up more. I have to, yeah, just push it up a little. Loosen it more. Probably because the magnet's right there. When you're doing putting the coil back on, have the magnet at the bottom. It makes it a lot easier. You can set that up like that. There, and this should. If you can see the flywheel isn't rubbing, put your spark plug wire on. This is the kill wire. Um, you can hook up like a kill switch or something to it, but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really, I don't have anything planned for this engine. So the next step is to just bolt your recoil cover back on, and you've successfully converted your engine to electronic ignition. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.